As we saw in the previous demo, JReport's embedded reports provide a seamless interface between the application's user interface and report results. Let's take a look at how JReport is designed to make this integration process easier for the application developer. Here we see the makewar.xml script, which is used to build the war file that contains both the digital store application components and the JReport enterprise server components. This script is provided as a template, allowing the report developer to easily supply their application-specific values. We note that the output location for the WAR file has a default name of distribute, and we'll leave it at that. However, we will change the name of our WAR file by simply overriding the default. The makewar.xml script has many sets of properties, some of which are commented out. In our case, we want to specify the data source name used by our reports, so we will uncomment that section and enter in our data source name of digital demo. After the customization of the script is complete, developers use the makewar.bat utility also provided by JReport, to run the script and create the WAR file. Here we see that the WAR file has been created in the distribute directory as we specified in the script. Once the WAR is created, it can be deployed to any Java EE application server. Here we will deploy to an instance of IBM WebSphere application server. Using the integrated solutions console, we will first configure our JDBC provider for the data sources used by our reports. We'll create a new JDBC provider and we'll name it Digital Demo. We can see that the JDBC provider has been added. Now that we have defined the data source, we will assign it a JNDI name. We'll need to use the JNDI name that was specified in the makewar.xml file which in our case was JDBC slash digital demo. And lastly, we specify the database access information, which includes the database name, the server IP address, and the port number. Click Finish to complete the JNDI name assignment. With the data source configuration saved, we are now ready to deploy our WAR file. We click Install New Application, browse to our WAR file, Specify our context root and begin the installation process. We can specify installation customization options, however we will use the defaults. And we will click finish to complete the installation process. We can see that the JReport war has been started automatically and we can now start the digital demo war. And it is now started. The application is ready to go. JReport's ability to behave like any other Java component in a Java EE environment makes it easy for application developers and administrators to manage the reporting solution. Additionally, this allows JReport to leverage the power of the Java EE application server and access the same data source and persistence layers as the application does.